Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Gears of War. When we last left off, uh, we were trying to retake the train. Uh, we were getting some extreme resistance, but that's okay. We're Gears. We expect this sort of stuff. Um, just unfortunately, we're being lumbered with the one-hit kill torque bows, which, well, not really a fan of those. Especially when you don't even realize you've been hit. That's always fun. But, that's my problem, not yours. How are we doing over there, Dom? You're not dead yet, so uh, I guess we're doing reasonably well. <clears throat> right, another one down. Nice. See that ugly face of yours, sir? Oof! Yeah! Not good. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Alright, let's open the door. I believe there's a cog tag inside here as well. Well, Jack, not great. Door. Okay. Now what? Are you kidding me? Now what? Oh. That's bad. She just smashed open all that cereal. Gears crunch, by the way. <clears throat> Um Anya, we're using the hammer of dawn right now. Negative Delta, you can't. Not with all those nemesis thinking the sky. Fine, we'll go to plan B. We got a plan B. What? Hell no. Shit. Uh I mean <sighs> shit. There's always a plan B, right? Surely. Well, I guess this rather large fuel tank is going to have to be plan B. Or that, I guess. That could also work. Alright, disconnect the cars, he says. Like it's easy, he says. Run! Ah. Boop. Well, there goes the gears crunch. Oi! Over here. That's it. That's right. Uh-oh. She's running. She's running. Shoot, it. Shoot what? Shoot the, the, the gas tank? I mean, I guess that makes sense. She's really struggling. Uh, love, could you do me a solid and come back down here? No, that was bad. Okay. Okay, so. Let's come up with another plan. Now, I'm thinking. Are you kidding me? I'm thinking that we're going to want to shoot this. That's probably the best option here. I mean, it might be close to the only option. Run! No, 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 no. Marcus. Sometimes I seriously question your intelligence, Marcus. I know I shouldn't, but... I'm not 100% sure what happens if we explode this. Probably nothing that great. To be honest. But that's okay. We're just, just gonna run. Just gonna run. This thing takes an awful lot of firepower, apparently. Like a ridiculous amount of firepower. Um, 
Right, that should actually be lit up, but it isn't. Don't know why. I didn't make the game. Right, let's just keep feeding bullets into this thing. And see if something interesting happens. Apparently not. Which is curious. Come on, come on. Beat the thing. Yeah, thought as much. God. Fucking damn it. Alright. Okay. Alright. This could be bad. Probably bad. Prob. Yeah, I'm, I'm shooting it. I'm shooting it with everything I have, Dom. Alright. I don't see you offering a lot of assistance here, buddy. Oh, hi. Dude, nope, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Come on. This way, princess. Come on, sweetheart. Whoop. Alright, she's fine. Keep shooting it. Oh my god, this thing takes so many bullets. I really didn't realize how many bullets this thing took. I mean, to be fair, you can't really knock the cog safety standards. I mean, this... This petrol fuel tank is about as safe and as protected as it possibly could be. I mean, when you have, you know... <laughs> a fuel receptacle that can take 17 million bullets before it's going to explode. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh. Yeah, let, let's be very careful around the invincible fuel tank. Uh, we need to go beep and boop, don't we? Yes, one must be extremely careful around the invincible fuel tank. I mean, is there even enough ammunition on this train to destroy that? Yeah, Gears always had a, a bit of an issue with that. Dude, well, I say that always. Uh, the original trilogy was really bad. Great. Now what? Are you kidding me? Can we? Can we just destroy the fuel thing? I'm guessing we can't. I'm guessing we have to disconnect the train carriage thing first. Yes, we're going to disconnect the fucking cars. Yeah, no problem, Dom. All in a day's work, Dom. Wouldn't want to see you get up and hurt yourself, Dom. Just keep shooting the shit out of this. Not sure if we actually can. Not sure if we can damage this thing. Doing it. Oh. All right. That worked. Contact. Whew. Here come the nemesis. Wait, these aren't nemesis, are they? There's something else. The door's open, Marcus. Move. Yeah, we're moving. We're moving. So we don't have to destroy the invincible fuel tank. Like, if we, if we don't have the ammo. That's good to know. There's the cock tags. Phoenix, Hoffman's picked us up. Oof. We're on our way. Permanent. All right. Let's go car by car. Um. Oh, hello. They really 
want to be dealing with you guys. This is a lot worse. So, the locust grubby bastards have got air support. Good. Good. And here's me worrying that it was going to be too easy. Keep moving. Whew. Yes, Dom, let's keep moving. In a forward move. Forward momentum. Dom. Thanks, man. Alright. Not 100% sure. Oh, he's got a bow. That's bad. I'm not sure if we can actually kill these guys. Oh, well, I guess we can. That's always fun. All right, round walkers. Oh yeah. You're done. Oh, Dom, come on, mate. Come on, try and stay with me, brother. Let's try and get through one section without you dying. We really don't want that bastard. Kind of like poking us in the arsehole. Okay. Dom, get up. Yeah, well, the amount of blood you've lost, Dom, I'm surprised there's anything left, to be honest. Right, we've got some Gatling guns here. Probably, uh oh, gonna be a good idea. I hope that missed. Whew. On your knees, soldier. Oh, Jesus, that was close. That was seriously as close as it gets. Alright, it's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, peep the crimson doodick doohad. Oh great! We like chain guns. Shit. We really like chain guns. One left. Okay, you ready, Dom? Oh, hi, Dom. Just phase into reality like that. Ooh, shoot the chain guns! Now, the chain guns are obviously the cog version of a troika, but we don't have the armor plating. Which is bad, you know? That also was pretty bad, to be fair. Thanks for the assist, Dom. Glad you were here to help me, Dom. Glad I can always rely on you, Dom. Good God. Right, okay, let's try that again. Uh, that's not good. Or is it good? Is it good? Is it not good? Uh, this is really not great, is it? Uh, whoop. Right, he's fired his wad. Kill him. Oof. Uh, kill him. Jeez. Louise Pig Papa Cheese. Kill them! Kill them all! Thanks for the help, Dom. Couldn't be doing this without you, brother. Good lord. Pretty sure there was an achievement for killing like X amount of these. Can't remember that. By God, it's been a while. Uh, that's bad. This... This is going to be rough. This is going to be really rough. It's, this one is definitely um, significantly easier when there's two of you up here and you're both using the guns. Come on. You're, oh, he obviously tagged me. Well, I knew this uh, difficulty was certainly rough at times. But we haven't got to ram yet. And that's when things really get delicate. Watch our back. 
Right. You need to die. It's the ugliest damn thing I've ever seen. You really need to die, because you've got one of them bloody talk bows. Don't like the talk bows. Hopefully we can just be cheeky and keep that one to our side, the one that's already here. Maybe they'll only spawn one at a time then. You're done. I'm not 100% sure how many of these we have to kill. I'm guessing lots. Who doesn't love the turret section? I know you all do. To be fair, turret sections don't inherently have to be bad. It's just generally you have very little. Um... Ooh, dear. They are tough. And there's lots of them. Yeah, generally you're very limited in your options to, you know, defend yourself. Are we good? There's still that one next to us. And I'm going to cheese this son of a bitch. No idea if shooting these guys in the head actually does any extra damage, but... I'm going to shoot them in the brain. At least the part that... Looks like a brain. To be fair, kind of all looks like a brain. Okay, so that's not a bad tactic. Just shoot the one. Just shoot the one side. Whoop. Uh, wretches. That's bad. Yeah, that's really bad. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Lambert wrenches. That's really bad. Right, okay. So, ooh, hello. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't want none of that, sir. Now, everybody be cool. Everybody be cool. Hello. Oh man, they pop. Oh, they pop. Oof. What's worse than an enemy that can shred you in three hits? An enemy that can shred you in three hits and explode when they die. Oh, knew that was coming. Could hear him. Could bloody smell the bastard. Dom, I can't help but notice you're not here, lad. Can't. Oh, good. Excellent. I was missing you guys. Not as much fun without you. Um. Well. That wasn't very uh, <laughs> friendly now, was it? Uh, yeah, we know what's happening. Oh no! Come on, Marcus. Oh, hello. Turn up whilst I was trying to switch weapon. Not exactly the most optimal weapon for this sort of uh, up close and personal business, but whatever. Sadly, Marcus, there's always more where they came from. There's always more grubs. Come on, you ugly bastards. One. Two. I'm sure there's three in here. Yep, there's three. Don't die, Dom. If nothing else, I need you to uh, distract the enemy. Yes, that'll do. Oh, hello trying to get you to activate. I guess you don't activate until you see us. Cheeky git. Oh. Don't want to 
Well, none of your business. So now we've got Reavers as well. This is this is not this is not as good as it could be. I'll be honest. Die, die for daddy. Ah, you sneaky turd. You're you're done. Oh, okay. Let's just forget about the Reavers for now. But I think we need to go around this side. Unfortunately. Ow. Why do we need to go around the side? I hear you ask. Well. We need to get a tag. Whilst we rapidly deplete our ammo. Right, he's gone. Nice. That one. This is the one we need to be careful. Oof. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Oh. I think these ones are a little bit more durable as well. That's okay. Turn them inside out all the same. Now. There is one more cog tag. Well, I've looked a couple of times for this thing and I can't find it. So I'm guessing it's going to be further along. Which is kind of annoying <laughs> but it is what it is wretches you say well that's a oh hello the fuck did you come from taste my lightning bitches uh that was bad oh that was bad yep everything's over we're all dead pack up go home god damn it Ah, oh, at least we start off here, though. Happy with that. Over there. They're gonna come down. Not 100 percent sure where they actually spawned from. Curious. Well, no matter. We got this. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, here we go. This is gonna be a bad one, boys and girls. There we go. Let's keep lighting them up. That's it. Keep coming. I can do this all day. Or at least until my ammo runs out. Oh, that's bad. Oof. Right, Dom, if you could do at least the minimum required of you, I would be happy. Are they coming from behind as well then? Oh, Dom! Okay. Oh! Okay, I'm not sure how Dom came back. But, I'm not going to question it. We good? We got a checkpoint. Oof! We'll pick you up as soon as we plant the data. Whoa! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Alright. Take him out! Trying. My house. Ooh, dear. Alright. Son of a bitch. Wait, did it say we got to take all these guys out? Or... Where are we taking them? That's fine. Oh, okay. Oof. We're really running out of train cars now. Ah, we ate. Stop being a Nancy. We're fine. GPS shows that you've picked up speed. You don't have much time. Yay. Ah, this is where we need to be. Doof. To get the final cog tag in the game. Run! There we go. It just looks exactly the same as the other place. Because, you know. 
It's all quiet. It's too quiet. Yank. Hey, and that has every cock tag. Glad we got that on camera. I must be the first person ever in the history of YouTube to get all of those. Okay. How are we doing, Dom? Oh, we got the long shot. Uh, we'll take nice. the long shot. <clears throat> do this. All right. Final boss. Now this guy is a dick. He's got a shield of krill. And he has a troika turret as a weapon. Kill Ram! Yeah, this guy is something else. We kind of have to wait until the uh, shield's gone from him, I think, before we can actually fire at him. And we got Reavers as well, for good measure. Engage. Kill him! Kill him! And as soon as he gets his little cruel shield back. There we go. Now, this guy is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, I remember for a good while, on the hardest difficulty, uh, this guy was quite known for being almost impossible unless you're playing it on co-op. Uh, not sure about this difficulty. I don't think this difficulty is as bad. But we kind of need Dom up. Because without Dom distracting him... We're going to get chunked incredibly fast. Um, we have problems. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. All right. So, I've actually uh, dropped the difficulty down for normal for this guy. Because, fuck me, man. We're going to be here all day. He is rough. I did try to look up some uh, walkthroughs and some guides, and uh, would you lo and, be and behold, every guide just says, play it two player. <laughs> Anything above normal, just two player, two player. Dom is useless. It's like, yeah. Um, that is unfortunate, really, but that's the way it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit him with the torque bow. Because the thing is, the torque bow, which apparently you respawn with, if you play it on uh, this difficulty, which is interesting. So we're just going to shoot the shit out of his head. Oh my god, already like I could notice he's just not taking half the damage, not even a quarter of the damage, which makes sense, I guess. Bit anticlimactic. Come on. Yeah, just like a really poorly thought out boss for a single player, unfortunately. But never mind. It is what it is, as the kids say. Come on, you big ugly bastard. There we go, just fully unload. <laughs> I mean, I guess he can still kill us. Because of course he can. Oof. So I was trying to defeat him on hardcore for almost an hour. Let's do this. And man. Although, what I would like, if I'm honest. I would like a sniper rifle, but I guess we've lost that. But that's okay. We'll just pepper him with this. Now shooting him in the head does more damage, as is the, the Gears of War weight, but we can't exactly be super accurate with this weapon. And we're nearly out of ammo with it as well, which is questionable. Dom, like, what, Dom, what are you doing, mate? 
What are you doing? I mean, I guess he doesn't even know what he's doing. There we go. My god, that's easier on normal. Like... Oof. successfully deployed the light mass bomb. We have destroyed the enemy stronghold. This war has exacted a heavy price from all of us. It has torn our world apart. But you have my word that we will rise again. They do not understand. They do not know why we wage this war. We cannot stop. Will not stop. Why we will fight and fight and fight. Until we win. Or we die. And we are not dead yet. Mmm. Wow. What a game. Yeah, man, that still holds up. Really holds up. Um, to me, that's just as much fun now as it was way back when the game first came out. Uh, yeah, the final boss, though. Oh, jeez, man. I mean, everybody knows Gears of War. Everybody knows about the General Ram fight that is just completely unbalanced uh, on single player. Uh, and it's a shame, really. But, you know, I suppose, you know, nothing's perfect. Visually, this remake is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the weapons are still mostly fun to use. Uh, I do think that the Gears of War weapons um, got significantly, significantly better as the series went on. Uh, it's interesting to come back to this game, to be honest, uh, to just remember how few weapons are actually in the game. And this is uh, quite legendary as well. <laughs> Coal Train's rap. Oh God, how could I forget about this? Um, but yeah, fantastic. Uh, the story's a, it's kind of an interesting one. You don't really find out an awful lot in this game. Uh, a few things I think we could talk about. Um, you know, this enemy seems to emerge from the ground from nowhere and decimate humanity, even though humanity did a damn good job of doing that to itself. Uh, attacked humanity when it was weakest. 
after the 70 year long pendulum wars and uh, yeah pushed us to the the brink of annihilation like so many other games um, interesting look at the locust queen at the end of the game she looked quite human didn't she mmm she did yes interesting huh wonder if we're gonna find out a little bit more about that as the series goes on probably I would say we also, uh, this game was our first introduction to the main characters of Delta Team. And man, there's a nice amount of personality in those guys. Uh, legitimately still good. They are still a lovable bunch of bastards. Um, and it's interesting to go back to see their, their origins. Uh, they do all get way more fleshed out as the games go on, as the series um, progresses and things get a lot more desperate. We also get introduced to more characters. And uh, I think, I think the writing, um, for what it is, for, you know, third person co-op, uh, well, um, cover-based shooter, it's got way more character than you would give it credit for. And I think that's what separated Gears of War from some of the earlier cover based shooters that came before they were fine but they didn't have the budget the personality and just the the, the, the incredible wow factor that gears of war did um and it's hard to imagine now but there was a time where gears of war was almost up there with like the likes of halo gears of war was huge unbelievably huge and uh, sadly it has, you know, kind of dropped off the radar a little bit in recent years. Um, I guess the games aren't any good anymore, right? Well, no, actually. Gears of War 4 was really good. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was an interesting step, um, which we'll cover in depth when we actually finally get to it. And Gears of War 5, although I haven't actually finished that game yet, I played a lot of it co-op. Interesting, that game is actually three-player co-op. Not two, not four, it's three-player co-op, which is a bit weird. But um, I thought it was really good. Really, really good. Now, when I became disillusioned with Xbox, um, back in the Xbox One uh, launch era and I, I kind of like went over to PlayStation that became my main console of that generation um, I saw Gears of War 4 come out and you know it looked fine uh, but I just wasn't that interested at the time in picking up an Xbox but when I finally got round to it man man did I have a good time with that game the weapons the story and how the whole universe had advanced it's really, really good fun. Um, and yeah, there were a couple of games on the uh, Xbox One that I did kind of miss out on, which I have gone back and played since. I've always been an Xbox fan. Ever since the original Xbox, it was always my main platform after the Dreamcast, uh, apart from, you know, the choice between the Xbox One and the PS4 when that rolled around because it wasn't a choice. It was the PS4 or nothing, let's be honest. Um, so yeah, as I've come back to Xbox now uh, with the series consoles, and to be fair, halfway through the Xbox One generation when I bought my uh, One X, and to be fair, having a PS4 that entire generation and constantly being told that we have, you know, uh, Team Green had no games, when I first got my um, Xbox One X, that actually became my main console again. Because <laughs> you had Game Pass at that point. You had uh, all the backwards compatibility, you know. Yeah, they kind of, they, they somewhat digged the one out of a ditch, didn't they? Um, and another reason I held off from playing Gears of War uh, 4 for so long as well was... I think because I played Gears of War 1, 2, and 3 pretty much back to back as they came out, by the time Gears of War 3 rolled round, I was kind of burnt out with the games. You know, um, I don't really remember Gears of War 3 that much. 
I remember playing through the game and I got like halfway through it. And I just wanted it to be over. I'm like, I'm done now, finished. Uh, and looking back and thinking back um, and watching some stuff on, on it recently, man, that is a wicked game. <laughs> like, I can't wait until we finally get back to that one and try that one again. So, uh, Gizmo Judgment also came out as well. I never played that one. It was a spin-off uh, game. Uh, apparently not that good as well. So, I don't know. We'll find out together because when I play Gears of War Judgment, that's going to be the first time I've played it. When we sit down and play it. Um, I think this remaster is absolutely worth playing. Of course, if you've got Game Pass, it's free. Well, it's not free. You pay for Game Pass, but you know what I mean. And I'm looking forward to seeing where Gears goes. Little bit disappointed that we didn't get a Gears of War uh, collection announced. Maybe we will in the future. I don't know. We've got a couple of nice collections coming out. But I really enjoyed playing back through this. Also, uh, one thing I do have to say is this, the atmosphere and the soundtrack and just the architecture and the environments in this game are just... Yeah, I mean, there's an argument to be said they did kick off the generation of brown and grey. But when this game came out, it was at the start of that. And it still looks really nice. For instance, you know, Gears of War 4 and Gears of War 5. They're actually really colourful games. Really colourful games. Uh, gorgeous games. So, I guess we finally uh, got off that colour palette. But that's all I really have to say. I hope you've enjoyed the game. Um, it's a shame that we had to put it down to normal uh, to do the final Ram boss. I did think that there was a possibility that that might happen. But it is what it is. So, I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to leave the credits roll. And then we're going to do a bonus video of all the unlockable comics and things like that. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.
kind of shit. 